like there's all types of things you can do. You see this? This is a curvy girl. There, beautiful. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Nice. All right. Alina wants to be famous. Everybody knows her name. It's really nice that you're pushing your shoulders up, Alina, because you're going to go down. Okay, I want you to look at this. You're such a beautiful girl. And this is just, I'm going to do just a stand-up dance. Okay, I'm going to do just a stand-up dance. What you should have done, take that foot and stretch that just as far as it can go. So you can see the, the space in between your legs. Lena, she still feels that she has to have this control with herself. She doesn't know if she just lets it go. That's when the magic happens. Marjorie. So, hunch back and forth for them. Cannot come out. Hump on the back. Beautiful spirit, but nobody. to select one piece of gold jewelry. How much is that? That one's 200000 That's funny because we're actually, we're actually are probably the two girls in the house that don't wear a lot of jewelry. Annalie, you've selected the diamond pink one in 18 karat gold and it is $3,200. And then Marjorie, you've got the diamond square and it's $3,700. Great price. It was, it was kind of so extravagant. I didn't know what to say. You're never going to go to this town again. I got my she expects this of me, so I can't let her down. What is this theater? It's the most incredible place I've ever seen. Top model, please give a warm welcome to your host, Mr. Emanuel. Welcome to the Grand Orpheum Theater in downtown Los Angeles. This gorgeous environment is going to serve as the backdrop for today's photo shoot. Now, some of you will be posing with hot male models, and you may recognize your photographer, Mike Rosenthal, from the voting photo shoot. As you know, Tyra created the Fiercey Awards that aired on the Tyra Banks talk show. You are honored tonight for a lifetime of award. Now, with any award show, there are those unscripted moments and some that you don't see. So you girls will each have your own embarrassing moments to act out. We're going to have some fun, and as Tyra would say, we're going to be fierce today. So hair and makeup is downstairs. Each of us are 
given an assignment. So we're all going to have to do a scene from an award show. <laughs> Like a mannequin 
falling down. <clears throat> I was trying to be like the girl who knew she was going to get the award and then didn't. How do you even show that on your face? Are you like, eh, that's kind of like way too obvious. You know, grab his hand almost like, come on, baby, you know it's me. I love the smile. I love the smile. And you're just smiling at me. Try and do, try and do a little more in the eyes. Actually, the last frame is kind of cute.
had to put some type of scenario in the worship. And what were you portraying, Nikki? I was the girl that was so sure she was going to win, but didn't. So let's see your best shot. Beautiful. Although you don't look like you're okay. You definitely look like you're falling. I'm so happy to see you coming out more and more because I think you're so full of potential. This would be more interesting if we could see you standing inside and trying to cover. So everybody that loses at award shows inside, we're like... Thank you very much. Up next, Sheena. You know, you look... Exterior. I noticed that when I shot you. 
That being said, you know, this is an industry which is about displaying emotion. I want you to think about Halle Berry. Do you remember when she won the Academy Award? First black woman to win Best Actress, and it was this outpouring of emotion. But she was still there. Yes. Oh, time for the judges to deliberate. And when I call you back, I will announce which one of you is eliminated. Sheena, gorgeous legs, but I thought... I don't know where he got that. Really she doesn't look like a star in this picture. You know, the eyes are wrong. This week, though, was the first time I saw Sheena looking a little bit last year, because usually I just see... Okay, I'm next. What's up, Mama? Yeah, oh, how you doing, girl? Oh, yeah, let's see my picture. Potential, and I love to see it coming out more and more in every picture. You know, the shot turned out great. You know, it really it was like, you know, pulling teeth. In the beginning, I thought, oh, Lee, she doesn't have the makings of her. And the second week in a row now, I'm Is that good or bad? It's good. <laughs> yeah, I think Arlie's done a great job here. This is far from amateur. Samantha. I actually quite like this picture of Samantha in a weird way. I know that isn't exactly what it was meant to be, but she does look beautiful. <laughs> I would have gotten together with her and gave the only oh, stormy upper east side white woman. Jay, yeah, you would have got a glass of wine and thrown her on her. Yes, I would have done with a smile. Marjorie. Marjorie was my favorite thing. And I was so impressed. I mean, there were so many good shots. I am feeling her. J'adore how she is making a. Alina. Her face is so exquisite and different. She did not do her job here. She needs to let go of the control without feeling like she's humiliated. I'm not sold by this picture. I think a lot of us, most people, feel like we have to be in some type of condition. But it's also beautiful to be able to have this moment where we remind the world that we're human. Lauren Bree has a strong face that puts up so, so well. Look, Lauren Bree's taken so many good photographs over the past few years. That she's done so well. But she is such a pretty girl, and that she takes it into this competition. And as a result, she didn't really learn. She didn't She's a very pretty girl in person, but she was as stiff as a mannequin. She would literally just tip over. <laughs> well, it looks like we have reached our decision. And the winner... Eight beautiful young ladies stand before me, but I only have seven photos in my hand. And these photos represent the seven of you that are slowly running towards becoming America's next top model. The first name that I'm going to call is the best photo of the week and will be displayed in the house as digital art. Double win. Uh -huh. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Thank you. The next name I'm going to call McKee. Congratulations, McKee. Thank you, Samantha. Congratulations, Samantha. You're still on the running towards becoming America's next top model. Thank you. The next name that I'm going to call is Jocelyn. Congratulations. We're still in the running for becoming America's next top model. Look. Will Lauren Bree and Sheila please step forward? Two of you stand before me, but I only have one photo. And this photo represents the girl that is still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. And I'll call her. And the girl that I do not call 
must immediately return to the house. It's interesting, both of you standing before me, so different. Polar opposites of each other, actually. Lauren Lee is that gorgeous, interesting, awesome, high fashion beauty type of face that comes with the fashion industry. But what's lacking is the personality of Sheena, somebody that somebody that inspires Looking girl, maybe too sexy to see the judges. So the she finale shines bright. Oh, <laughs> this is a disappointment, Sheena. You have to find the balance between going crazy and being flat. Still running towards becoming America's next top model. Which, I mean, because I am a great person and I have tons of friends that have. It's not about relating to the people in our circle. I don't want to be in the public eye. It's about relating to more than just that. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Dead. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> 